Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to the lab on DS, DES encryption in Python. So in this, uh, uh, you will see how um, encryption algorithm using uh, data encryption standard algorithm, uh, how encryption can be done in Python. So first, to perform this operation, we have to import some packages uh, in our program. So they are base64. So base64 is a package uh, which has some methods which would help us to see the cipher text. That is, uh, when you encrypt the plain text into cipher text, uh, so the, this particular package has some methods which can be used to uh, see the cipher text in some readable character format. Uh, otherwise, it would be uh, gibberish in nature. In unreadable uh, way, it would look like. It would have some special characters, uh, symbols like that. So, to make some sense uh, to the cipher text, uh, to look like you know in some readable format we need this uh, package then to perform the encryption des encryption uh, we need this uh, package des then we import the random package okay uh, to generate the initialization vector iv random value Okay. So here, this statement shows how to generate a random value. Uh, that is, uh, we consider that as an initialization vector. So, uh, <coughs> random is an object. In that, we have a method get random bytes, eight bytes, size of eight bytes. So it would generate a random value. So IV is the initialization vector which is used to initialize the encryption in CFB mode. So what is this CFB mode? So there are different modes uh, of encryption. So this is a CFP mode. So we have the initialization vector. Okay, so that will go as uh, input into the encryption algorithm along with the key, and then uh, whatever output you get, that would be uh, XORed with the plain text here. So when you do, when you XOR uh, uh, the plain text with the, uh, you know, encrypted value, what you get is a cipher text. So that would be going as initialization vector for the next uh, iteration of encryption, for the next block of data. So this mode of encryption is called CFB or cipher feedback mode encryption and decryption. So, uh, basically, now what we are doing is, uh, we are calling this object DES and in that we call the new method and we assign the key value. So, this is the key that would be used for encryption purpose, okay. And uh, we have to pass another uh, value as the argument. So the first value argument value is uh, for this method is key value. The second one is what kind of mode uh, you want the encryption to happen. So just now I sh uh, showed you CFB mode. Then we have the PCBC mode. 
then we have CBC mode, ECB mode. So we have different types of modes uh, which can be used for encryption. So <coughs> we have to specify uh, in DS algorithm what mode you want. So we say that CFB mode. So you have to suppose you want to change the mode. If that mode is compatible, then you can pass that mode as the argument into this method. Then we pass the third argument, which is initialization vector. So it's a random value, 8 byte in size. Okay. So DS uh, object has this method. So this DS object actually we have uh, imported from this package. Okay, crypto dot cipher. From that we have imported this particular object. So what happens now? Uh, what happens is that um, uh, similarly, this is for encryption. Okay, and second one is for the decryption. Okay, so we create two variables here. <coughs> now, this is the input value. We give some input value. This is the plain text which would be encrypted. So now cipher text is the encrypted value is equal to des1. So this is a, a object okay so which uh, has been configured with a key value and uh, mode of encryption and initialization vector. So des1 and that uh, uh, has a method encrypt. So for that we pass the plain text this value as the input. So what is the return value for from this encrypt method you get a gibberish uh, text that is called cipher text. Okay. Uh, now we print the cipher text. Now what we do is we convert this cipher text into the uh, you know uh, base 64 format okay so make the encryption of the plain text by encryptor print the cipher text to user in both forms bytes base 64 format so when you do this actually you can read the cipher text uh, actually uh, in letter format otherwise you would be in like uh, symbols special characters uh, so, uh, to make uh, some amount of uh, uh, meaningful format actually we use this base 64 encoder. So we can do the cipher text here. Then once uh, we calculate the encryption value what we do is now we want to decrypt the value again. So decipher text is equal to this object this two object already we have configured for dec in a decryption same key same mode of uh, for the decryption and same initialization vector okay so that ds2 object in that there is a decrypt method we call the decrypt method and we pass the cipher text as the argument you know the cipher text we got it here and what we get is that okay plain text so now cipher text again uh, written back to the plain text <coughs> so we call it as a decipher text now we print that okay then we decode into utf-8 uh, format okay so whatever value we have given we would get that value back now how to do this in a python program last class I showed you some online editor also one more uh, way uh, which you can do using what uh, your virtual machine if you have Kali so what you do is in the Kali okay go to the terminal so let me close the terminal here just open the terminal pwd so it would show the current uh, working directory 
so let me create a new folder mkdir um, okay uh, let's say demo okay so this is a folder mkdir demo then go into the folder okay type ls we don't have file in any file inside this folder so what you do is now open the editor you can see leaf pad if you don't have leaf pad then what you do is you can uh, install the leaf pad in your uh, kali machine or if you have any other uh, linux operating system you can install the leaf pad okay just open the leaf pad new window so already i have this program So I have the program again just let us recall import this object base64 from the package and import des okay ds object from this package then import import the random object from uh, this package crypto this is from default package so then create the initialization vector using uh, get random method from the random object then uh, using a new method in the ds object passing the key and mode and initialization vector as argument you calculate you um, uh, you get the des1 object so using the des1 object and the plain text we encrypt the text plain text okay uh, encrypt is a method in the des1 object and uh, we encrypt the plain text and we get the cipher text then we convert the cipher text into base64 format and we print that and then we uh, what we do we take the cipher text okay as argument and pass that uh, into the decrypt method in the des2 object des2 you, you get the des2 here and we we get the plain text again d cipher text we call it here then we decode the uh, d cipher text into utf iphone uh, 8 format and we print that so now i have uh, you know i i shall send the program to you students just copy the program here then save us okay uh, in the root we created a folder no that's called demo so uh, give the file name my program let's say p1 dot python so all the python programs should have the extension dot py okay save uh, then just uh, go to the terminal so what you do is type uh, pwd to know the current location slash root so you have to go into the demo folder ls okay we have the program here so what you do is python p1 dot py okay so you get the output here let's compare the output with the program so here actually we are printing the cipher text here so this is a cipher text actually 
let me give the plain text here Oman is beautiful country okay so here we type cipher text cipher text just I add the text in order to identify the output values encoded cipher text okay p ciphered text then we have here decoded decipher text so I just save this let me print the text also print line text text so I save this file so I have some problem plain text cipher text uh, yeah here I made a mistake I should put plus so plain text is this is the data Oman is beautiful country is a plain text and then it is uh, uh, converted into <coughs> cipher text but it is very uh, gibberish in nature uh, we, we cannot uh, understand anything there are no characters so we just encode that into base 64 format so it looks in a little meaningful way um, so this is the encoded cipher text then uh, what we do is uh, we uh, decipher the we convert the cipher text into plain text so this one and we convert that once again into UTF-8 uh, format clear to you so this is a simple program that demonstrates how we can uh, uh, encrypt uh, do the encryption and decryption in python using des algorithm and cfd mode cfb mode okay uh, okay thank you very much you can do this uh, exercise on your own and try this